I'm looking at looking at your experience. I'm sorry I have to ask you these questions because I have followed your your, your your journey. I've seen I've read your story, I've read so much about you. You, you one time in an interview you did say something about how women attract uh, the wrong type of men to them by accepting what these men when I'm talking about domestic violence and violence in relationships, how can a young woman I know you've talked about self-esteem. How can a young woman avoid these things? How can she groom herself not to attract the wrong kind of men? By understanding her worth, knowing she deserves more, knowing she deserves better. Mm -hmm. And if she knows that in her heart, she'll, um, I guess she'll be that person, you know? And she'll attract those people to her that believe what you believe. Whatever you believe, people believe. So if you believe that you're know, you're unworthy and you can only get a deadbeat, or, you know, or you know, a low class guy, you're gonna get that. But if you believe you're a queen and you deserve more and you deserve wealth and you deserve love, you will get that. And that, that, that's what I believe. And becoming a woman has, you know, that's been the greatest gift to you know, to, to be able to walk with my head up. Because one time I walked with my head down and I drew to me guys that you know were abusive and all that stuff. But now um, I know I'm a queen. And finally, um, the, the way we see you, the way the world perceives you, what is the crazy, what's the crazy side of Mary? Like, what's the other thing that you do that we don't know? We know that you're, you know, you know how to dance, you know you're taking care of women, we know you're working out, we know you're learning how to swing. Have you done that? <laughs> 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 you're swimming skills. Oh, man, I'm actually swimming. Yay! <laughs>